How to convert your Figma design into a website. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I will be showing you how you can get started with converting your Figma design into your website. So the way that we're going to be doing is via a plugin and we're going to be importing it onto our WordPress website builder. And you can do this with Figma. However, keep in mind that you're doing this with a plugin and Sometimes plugins can have issues and you have to do a lot of things manually in this as well. So we're going to be breaking it down step by step. Now, the first thing you might wonder is that on Figma, if you already have designed a web website or web page, that's really nice. But if you're someone that is not familiar with designing on Figma, you can go on to figma.community and it's a space by the community and you can search for anything that you want. So let's say you want to build a landing page. Just search for landing page over here and in the Figma community, you'll find different templates and different styles that you can get started with. This can be a great way for you to, you know, be able to build something. Even if you're someone that does not have a lot of experience building, using these kinds of templates can be super efficient. So the first thing you have to do is you can go onto these sections and you can choose free over here if you're only looking for free templates and then choose the template that you want. Click on open in Figma and once you have opened your template in Figma, you can customize it to your personal preference. So you can build, build your template however you want or build your website however you want. So as you guys can see over here, this is our template over here. And in our template on the top left, what we're going to do is we're going to edit, you know, some of the text and then we can add like this. So I can add this and then we have these frames over here. So let's say this is just, you know, a coming soon page for now. This is like a very basic design. If you want to change any of the primary colors, you're going to find those on the right. You have the design element. You also have the prototype element. Then on the left, you have this panel and this panel, you can choose any element of your choice and group them as well as, you know, move individual items. On the top, you have different framing and sectioning options as well as drawing options or lines as well. And you can click on done over here to create items. Now, how can you import this design or this website well to do this the first thing you have to do is click on the top left you'll find this main menu icon once you click on the main menu icon you will find the second section option called plugins so you want to click on plugins over here and click on manage plugins now you want to search for this particular plugin i'm just going to take a look i'll just show you guys this plugin it's called figma 2 wordpress by yetako and once you see this plugin over here you can just search for plugins and just search for figma 2 wordpress and there are multiple different types of plugins available so convert figma to wordpress there there are multiple different types of um you know plugins available this is for converting into the elementor or gutenberg block editor with editable websites and then you have the one that i just showed you all of these work well so i'm going to take our figma to wordpress plugin we're just going to open this up and over here this will open this up so from here you're going to click on the email address you're going to enter your email address and click on start now then you're going to copy the URL of your Figma design. Now, a lot of people ask, what is the URL? And they just copy the URL of their Figma login. You're not supposed to do that. You're going to click on your top right over here. And if you click on share on the top right, you will find the option of a pop-up box. In this pop-up box on the bottom left, you have a copy link option. Click on this copy link option and then close your pop-up. Then you're going to paste your Figma URL over here. Once you do that, click on create your website. Now the Yotago Figma URL converter is going to convert this particular URL. It's going to process our frame. And what it's going to do is that it's going to get started with building our individual page. So the first thing you have to do is choose the frame that you're going to set as your main page. So this is our main page. I can click on add frame as main page. Then you can add a screen size as well. So you can click on add another page. Let's say it's going to be a normal page and it might be in our second page. Now, after you have added your page, because we only have one page over here, uh, we're going to click on continue on the bottom right. Now, after that, you can use the Yotako AI and it can detect the interactive WordPress elements and you can click on yes. And this will just show you the WordPress elements you don't have so you can add them. 
so your WordPress website is more cohesive. Now, after that, click on next and you will be able to see your viewport. So you have a, the tablet and mobile viewports and you can start selecting your WordPress elements. So the first thing you have to do is select your header. So let's say this is gonna be our header and you can add, you know, your menu items like this, add header menu, add header menu like this. And after that, you can add more items if you want and you can click on back and go into your footer and choose footer items. Then you can add your blog posts if you have any blog posts within this particular template or within this particular site that you're building. This is really going to vary person to person and theme to te theme to theme what you're building so whatever is included such as your header footer and blog posts you want to add the relevant ones directly from figma into your figma to wordpress then there's also forms so if you have a registration or login form built add those as well once you've completed this you want to click on continue on the bottom right and then click on continue without selecting if you have any sections that are left out and you know they're left out you can skip those but keep in mind to make sure to read all the items that you have added then you're going to click on submit over here and this will start building your wordpress site or converting your figma design into your wordpress site now after that we're just going to wait for the upload to be completed now after you have completed this you will be able to see your project information as well as your preview now you can see uh, some more information inputs that you can give so we would love to learn more about you why you're using this and how you want to convert your templates so you can click on preview over here and the Yotico AI will open up your preview on yotico.io website. So it's going to wait for your preview to be built and completed. And we're just going to wait for our preview to be loaded up so we can begin seeing how our published site is going to appear and how we can begin editing our published site on Yotico. So you guys can see this is what our site is looking like. It looks really good. And once you have your particular site added, this looks pretty nice to me, I can click on WordPress dashboard on the top left. And this will open up the WordPress dashboard that I have for my website that I just imported from Figma onto Yotico. So from here, you can further add more elements or create more customization. You can also click on deploy just to deploy WordPress and Yotico's AI. And then you can click on select to publish and choose to publish your Figma imported website on WordPress. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.